hi guys welcome to this video so if you're just joining me for the first time you are welcome so today i'm going to be showing you how to make this nsala fish with catfish known as nsala or white soup so first of all i'm going to wash my fish with hot water then after washing it i'm going to add my stock fish because i'm using stock fish for this recipe feel free to add stock fish or remove it so i'm going to add my pepper this is a blended pepper mix straight strictly pepper and a little bit of onions and a crayfish inside so after that i'm going to add my seasoning cube i am using two seasoning cube i don't even know why i brought that three i'm using two of it to season it so after seasoning it i'm going to add my salt please add salt to taste you can add more than add later so i am using the water that i used to boil yam in my place where i come from in Imo state in Oguta. shout out to Oguta people that's how we make our own masala fish the water you use to boil the yam is what you will use to make the soup so i'm going to pour pound this yam in a mortar this is actually one of the lazy things I'm, I'm doing which is pounding yam but i have no choice normally you can use your blender to blend it if you don't have mortar so i'm going to pound this yam look at it is okay now so after the fish boil i didn't allow it to cook to soft i just let it boil a little bit then i'm going to remove the fish so that it does not get scattered so i'm going to remove the fish from the soup after removing the fish i'm going to mix the remaining stock fish so i'm going to add more water i'm going to add my dry fish i am using dry titus fish and around the catfish the dry one so i'm adding bb crayfish i'm adding crayf uh, small crayfish the blended one i'm going to add more diced pepper and cover allow it to boil for some minutes then i'm going to add the pan the yam i pounded earlier and i'm going to you can cover this or you leave it open see with the whole pepper i add i'm adding more dry pepper because this is fish i don't want it to be too sweet i want it to be peppery so that i can be able to eat it so look at this the yam is what is going to make the soup thicken so after the soup is thicken i'm going to use oziza and ogo soup please if you are watching this video please do not show my mommy this video because she's gonna she's gonna kill me for using o oziza and ogo in my place we only use ogo leaf but i am using ogo and oziza because this is the pattern i learned from my auntie so guys if you're watching this video tonight that means you love this video so what are you waiting for please like leave your comment tell me in the comment section how you make your own masala or white soup subscribe to our channel so after i added the fish back i add more crayfish because i'm going all out for this and let me tell you this is my dad's favorite soup and shout out to my dad shout out to mr osita Enesha. shout out to you daddy i love you so much so the soup is ready you can enjoy this soup with a pounded jam a simple fufu gari whatever you have but my advice to you is to enjoy it with pounded jam it works better thank you for watching bye Mwah.